this old house come up and put a nice rear front on it and they can do some lawn work on it, make it nice and pretty. But what do you got? It's pretty on the outside. You know, if you don't touch the inside, where it's important where you're going to live, then, you know, you've you got nothing. It's fake. Amen. And we don't want to be fake. Because what's on the inside is what's important. Alright? So that's what we need to be concentrating on. We need to be concentrating on what's in, in, inside of us. And to do that, we, we really need to know who we are. Okay? Now, how do we know who we are? It's a big world. You see stuff on TV all the time, how people act, how, how they do, how they present themselves. And unfortunately, that's all the fun to sell. You know, tickets to a concert, tickets to a movie, you know, whatever the case may be. You know, that's not necessarily who they are. All right? Well, the best way to find out who we are is one place. It's the Bible. That's what we have to do. God gave us that. It's, it's, it's directions for our life. It tells us everything we need to know. A lot of times it's hard to understand. You know, I still don't understand all of it. I'm still a new Christian. You know, I'm growing or trying to grow every day. Um, so, what we are, we're all designed by God to be the people that we are. We shouldn't try to be somebody else. Uh, we're one body in Christ, is what it says in Scripture. Well, what does that mean? Well, Romans 12, 5, the New Living Translation, we are all parts of His one body. Each of us has a different work to do. And since we are all one body in Christ, we belong to each other. And each of us needs each other. Okay? Now, if we were all just alike, wore the same kind of fancy clothes, the same kind of hairstyle, the same makeup of your girl, you know, why would we need each other? We got we need anybody, right? You know, we are who we are, and God made us individually. And that's what we need to find out is who we are. We can't be a part of God's design if we don't know who we are. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's incredibly important. I mean, I hope you get this. I hope you listen to what it is. Don't let yourself be fooled by the world. You know, what you see on TV ain't real. It ain't real. You know, I'm sure some of you see seen before. Uh, what was it? Uh, Ozzy Osbourne, the Osbourne that show? Anybody see that? Okay. Now, he might be an idiot, but he's not that you know, it's all, it's all a show, it's all about ratings. You know, back in the day when I was younger, Alice Cooper, you remember who Alice Cooper is? Okay, alright. Right now, if you see him, if you meet him today, he's a member of the PTA at the Dollar School. You know, he's an upstanding man. You know, it's all a front, and he can even tell you, he's, he's, he's in interviews. It was all about selling tickets. It's all about the whole makeup running down the face, the songs. Everything was all about money. You know, it was all a front. Don't get fooled by that, because it's not real. All right. Now, let's break it up real quick here. Let's just do something else to kind of get on a little bit of a lighter note. I want every one of you to look under your seats. There's something under one of these seats. <laughs>
stairs before you ever came up. And as you came up the stairs, and under that specific seat, there was a $20 bill. How many of you here would not have tried to find that seat? Oh, yes. Everybody tried to find that seat. Why? That's what this, this, uh, this one of my main points here is about that journey. No, it's true. It's $20. Okay, let me find my own jacket. Okay, here we go. Alright, now, in the seat back in front of the chair you're sitting in, someone had a little pocket. There's a $10 bill in the pocket. Thank 